Is that what we want? Does everything work? All right. Uh, so, welcome to this presentation about uh, how to free copyrighted media for uh, Wikimedia. Um, next slide, please. Uh, so, um, for this topic, um, it's uh, organizations, but it's also about copyright orders that I kind of are classified as organizations, although they can be alone, like very small company made up of only one person that hold a copyright. For example, an artist, depending of um, the laws uh, and legislation uh, in different countries of the world. Uh, so, copyright orders organization can be only one person or more than one person. Um, they can bring uh, some content for the Wikimedia projects and unfortunately it's kind of complicated uh due to national uh, laws about copyright to get them into the wikimedia projects so first we are going to see who are uh, this copyright order who they can be when they try to interact with us uh, from a human uh, standpoint standpoint uh, next slide please Uh, yes, I'm just going to this here, right? So, so yes, the creator uh, can be also there. It's a creator. There, it's a third party. Uh, it can be a notable person, for example, on Wikipedia, since it's the most active and visible project for uh, people visiting the projects from the web when they don't know the projects. Uh, it can be a paid editor, like an employee, a lawyer, and an, um, an agency, for example. Uh, it can be an artist, it can be a writer, it can be a professional photographer. I'm going back to this later. Uh, it can be a fan, a friend, uh, someone that has been interested to post pictures, for example, for an article for a friend that has uh, them, their article on Wikipedia. Uh, it can be a glam, it can be uh, um, Wikimedia chapter, for example, um, we got uh, in Wikimedia in France since I'm, I'm a, yeah, yes, I didn't present myself. I'm Jean Quayer and I'm a simple member of Wikipedia, Wikimedia France. And I'm, oh, sorry. Uh, and I'm a contributor on the Wikipedia in French in, since 2009. Right, next slide, please. So who has um, copyrighted media? So you can get, um, well, so, sorry, it's a, it's a duplicate. Um, next slide, please. Uh, why solution and IDs? It's not solution, it's, it's what type of files? The correct uh, slide. Yes, what type of files? So first we have images. Uh, we have um, full, full or excerpt of costume, physical products and services, covers and posters, screenshots, newspaper, magazine, books, stamps, glam, uh, di di uh, digitized catalog, um, outdoors, images, portraits, sculpture, graphics, and so on and so on. 
And then uh, on the next slide, we have the documents about um, uh, the same for our except of fiction, graphics, uh, press kits uh, that are uh, some kind of documents given uh, to the press uh, with pictures and some kind of text uh, to promote, for example, movies. Uh, you can have maps, um, uh, tabs, uh, you can have uh, slides, and so on. You can have sound uh, files too. Next slide, on the next slide. Uh, with um, outdoor records like Sound of Birds, voices, music, songs, radio shows, podcasts, etc. We also have uh, five types that are video too. On the next slide. Yes. Uh, for our except of fictions, trailer, live records, uh, presentations, uh, TV shows, movies, uh, that, that, that things. Um, and finally, we have 3D files on uh, commands with a full or parts of cultures, graphics, plants, maps, people, characters, and scenes. So, uh, so now I'm proposing you uh, to see a little how the typical, um, what's the typical, <laughs> not travel, but ordeal of the copyright order or professional to add media on the Wikimedia projects. And it doesn't begin on commons since Wikipedia is uh, the most popular option. And I'm going to use examples uh, from the Wikipedia in French first teams. I'm the most familiar with it, and there is no uh, free, um, fair, there is no fair use on the Wikipedia in French. So I think it's kind of a good reference uh, to show how it can work on most wikis. Uh, there are fast ways and a lot of slow ways, and we can see on the next slide, for example, um, uh, a screenshot from an article about um, uh, historic uh, um, heritage, uh, build heritage buildings with, uh, you can see on the right uh, for illustration, there is a missing image and it's, there is a big button to upload an image. So it's a fast way because it redirects directly to the, the upload without um, comments. But on the next slide, you have the option for something very, very um, difficult with um, uh, you get uh, help pages and you have complicated uh, explanations. For example, um, let's take, uh, let's see on the next slide, um, Yes, uh, an article about, um, it's a biography about uh, someone from uh, America. And on the info box, uh, it's written, une illustration sous licence libre serait la bienvenue, which means in English, an illustration illustration under um, free licence will be welcome. And there is no button, but if you click on this, you get the help page. And then you can, um, on the next slide, you can see the famous help, help page, and then you can finally access to Wikimedia Commons on a small link, uh, which is on, an, uh, you can see on the next slide, and you have a nice um, button to import uh, the image on the right. So, just to access Wikimedia Commons, you already got a lot of steps and it's counting on the info box and not every article on Wikipedia as one with a proposal and a suggestion to upload something. 
so let's see the um, upload wizard on the next slide. Uh, yes, so we can see something just to click to select multimedia files and if, um, but there is a uh, help desk, which is complicated, uh, the, the steps already uh, to know what to do. You have nothing written on the upload wizard for a copywriter there. So on the next slide after, after the, uh, service dead. Uh, so, yes, no, the previous one, please. Thank you. Uh, so, here is when you uh, put an email command, you have written release rights uh, in English, which is totally frightening for, for copyright on order because they might think that it's just going to send the content in the nature and live its life and there will have no control over illegal use, for example. And so you have this file is my own work or this file is not my own work and then you can scroll down and see on the next slide. Uh, now tell us why you are sure you have the right to publish this work. And you have, and you need to click another reason not, not mentioned above. And this sense is about the fossil following wiki text. This is totally just gibberish for um, the layman, the people are not familiar, and you also have a link to copyright tags, but it's also another issue. So now we are going to uh, assume that they successfully approved something and it's not properly, um, uh, it's not properly, um, Done. So now on the slide, we are going to the slide for the volunteer response team, please. So yes, uh, it's likely that um, the uploader got a message to be asked to send uh, an email to the team to provide evidence that the copyright order is given permission to release a file under freely license. Uh, so I'm going to list up other issues uh, on the next slide. Uh, so there are issues with companies confusing marketing with the goal of the projects. I think it's one major issue for companies that don't get an organization that don't get it's not free prom promotional tool. Uh, none of the projects uh, are. Uh, you also have people and organizations that are unhappy with the content of the Wikipedia articles about them, <laughs> fortunately, and we can't do much about this. Uh, you also have people and organization lawyers not realizing that the copy com Creative Commons license doesn't affect trademarks, brand, or competition rules due to uh, the freedom language around this to free the files and free the content and sometimes it's kind of scary for uh, people that are copyright holders or are paid to do something with that. Um, you also have the voluntary response team processes that are reactive instead of proactive and uh, it put uh, the uploader in a punitive position. You also have copyrighted media getting hidden on comments without storing much information about what it is or who holds the copyright. We could convince but creative uh, common license on it if uh, under. And on the next slide, we are going to see solutions and ideas. Uh, two types uh, of solutions and ideas. One um, to in uh, have the media imported by the copyright holders of their representatives on their own. And the second option is 
uh, to get the media imported by, by volunteers. Um, and some solutions and ID might affect these two types. Uh, as we can see on the next slide, uh, for example, maybe there could be a glam partnership on the local, local or global um, uh, scale. Uh, there could be um, if a copyright holder got, uh, yes, it's only fine if a copyright holder got archives or museum department, so it's not for everyone. Maybe expanding the content content partnerships, uh, but uh, I asked ask a few people and they were, were not sure if uh, private companies were in the scope of this hub or not. Um, maybe link to external images on the Wikipedia articles, since it's the main gate to this content, and insert buttons linking to an uploading wizard page for copyright orders, specifically for them. Um, or more advocacy and explaining the projects to legal and marketing or PR teams of companies and other organizations that are uh, not for profit. Uh, I also have uh, user-friendly uploading page of comments as we had seen uh, previously. Uh, uh, upload, I'm going to do fast. Uploading page with links for professionals at the top, FAQ page, advocate uh, the CC license, and on the last slide, starting with smaller companies and uh, or asking for proper licensing on YouTube, and maybe a volunteer team or workshop for this and template and resources. That's all. Uh, if you have maybe one or two quick questions and ideas. Uh, I'm just going to say that I think you covered it pretty well. The experience of uh, getting uh, people who, uh, you know, with copyrighted media to free to uh, release it. I, you know, had the pleasant experience right. of, the author of a book I liked. I was emailing back and forth with him and I explained, well, would you like to have a good picture of you on Wikipedia? And he, I said, look, get your wife to take it and then, you know, mail it to me and I'll upload it. And I noted that, you know, and say that you release it under a CC by or CC SA license. But yeah, when people have a human guide going through this, where uh, as opposed to the form, I was looking at it again when you showed it, and I thought some people are probably afraid they're going to get, I could conceivably think that people will read this and think they're going to get arrested <laughs> for doing this. Uh, just for information, if you can speak not too fast, please, because I'm not a native English speaker. Thank you Anyone very else? much. We have to move to the next session. We are sorry, but I guess you can okay. uh, share uh, your contact later uh, through the platform and people will contact you. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. You're welcome.